Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am gonna go through all my beauty purchases that I made last month. So this is a recurring series here on my channel. I did a, I just started it this year, so, but I do have a January purchases video up. I'll link that up above and down below in case you wanna check it out. That video actually had quite a few products in it, mostly skincare. This month is much lighter, so I am unofficially on a low buy. So I'm trying to purchase less products. So what I have here are really just a handful of things that I purchased. I am subscribed to BoxyCharm, which is a monthly beauty subscription. And so I did get five products in my February base box. And I did do a whole video, again, I'll link it up above and down below in case you wanna check that out. And then I have a couple drugstore and a few things I did pick up at Sephora. So let's get into the products. So quite a few of these products, they've either been featured, like I said, in my BoxyCharm video or in a Get Ready With Me video. So where I can, where it's relevant, I'll link that in case you want more detail on these products. But let's talk about the things I grabbed at Sephora. So the thing that I am loving the most is this makeup by Mario. I think these are called... It's quite a long name, actually. I think it's called Moisture Glow Lip Plumping Balm, maybe? Or Lip Serum, I don't know, I can't read it. It's so small on there. I, all these products I'll link below, but I got this in Bronze Glow, and it is what I have on my lips today. I love this. This is for sure my favorite thing that I purchased this month. I absolutely love this. It is this incredibly creamy, balmy product. Let me put a little on here so you can see. It's just so incredibly balmy and just glossy and plumping. I think it's plumping in that it just is so hydrating. And there is a little bit of a mint tingle, but don't let that put you off because this is not at all overly uncomfortable like it's a very slight tingle although I do say I'm not a good gauge of that because you know some things that people say they can't even stand it's so plumping I can hardly feel it but what I feel with this product is a very slight minty tingle it just feels nice and hydrating with this little bit of bronzy glow I love this. This is, you know, out of all the products that I have here, this is my number one product for the month that I tried. I absolutely love this and no regrets in purchasing it. So that's the first thing I picked up at Sephora. And then in that same order, I also picked up from Item Beauty. This is the Blushing Like Cream Blush in the shade It's Verified. It's beautiful. And I've talked about this quite a few times. It doesn't feel like a cream blush at all. If you're thinking of a cream blush like I was in terms of maybe something super balmy like the Tower 28 Cream Blush or the Rare Beauty Cream Blush, this is nothing like those. And it, it, it just feels like a powder blush. Like it's not spongy in there. It's none of those things, but it is a really, really pretty powder blush. And this shade is gorgeous. Again, I have it on today. It's like this mauve -y, you know, sort of blush color, and I just love it. It sits beautifully. It doesn't accentuate my texture that I do have in this area quite a bit. So I absolutely love it. It just isn't what I was expecting it to be but I'm very much loving it all the same. And then the last thing that I picked up from Sephora, I picked up two of the Bite Upswing mascaras. This is my favorite mascara formula, and these were on for 50% off. I did post it in my community tab, so I hope some of you, if you were wanting to try this, were able to get it at 50% off. Now, regular price, I think these are 37, so full price. So I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna purchase what I was gonna say. I'm never gonna purchase just went full price. I feel like that's a lie. I may, but that I could get them for 50% off. I would grab two of them. I'm not opening them because I have an absolute, I probably have 10 open mascaras right now that I need to get through. So this is not what's on my eyes right now. I have a little mini of the Pat McGrath yeah, it's a little mini of the Dark Star Mascara. I have it on today. You know, the effect at the end was fine, but I do, I find this tricky to work with. This is definitely not my favorite mascara or one that I would ever even consider purchasing, you know, at the price that that is. But the Bite Upswing, absolutely love this. I saw my girlfriend actually let me know that it was on for 50% off, so I went ahead and ordered two. And I'm keeping them until I have used up at least five 
<laughs> at least five of the mascaras I have open. <laughs> so yeah, so no regrets about that purchase and so happy that I got that out of sale. Okay, and then a couple other things that I purchased and then I'll go through my BoxyCharm items at the end. Now I saw Emily Noel talk about these. These are the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Balms plus Hyaluronic Acid and I have it in Cherryish U. So it reminds me very much of an old school lip balm. I don't think it has much of a smell. But let me show you, this is so beautiful. It's, it's like a traditional, sort of a stiffer formula lip balm, but it feels beautiful on the lips. It gives this wonderful berry color. I really like this. Uh, now when I went to my drugstore, they had this shade, actually I got this at Walmart, and they had this shade and the clear one, but I have seen these at the drugstores around town in other shades. So I think, you know, there's, I don't know how many shades there are, but this is just this beautiful berry shade. It just feels hydrating and nice and easy to wear. And yeah, so really happy that I got that. I wanna say this was less than $5 as well. So very happy with that. And then I was watching, well, so I like, I like TikTok, I watch TikTok all the time. And I've seen quite a few people talk about these products. So I got these off of Amazon. I don't know how you say this brand name. Is it D Dirol? I'm not sure, but what it is, is it's a lip plumping system. And so this one is the one that you're supposed to wear at night, and this is the one that you wear in the daytime. And now I bought this because I saw people on TikTok lose their minds doing half of their lips. They'd come back in a couple minutes and it would be like so plumped. No, it doesn't do that for me. <laughs> Maybe it does that for them, it doesn't do that for me. Now, the nighttime one really just feels like a lip oil, like a really nice clear lip oil. I don't really wear it at night because I prefer a more heavy, occlusive type lip sleeping mask. But there is a very slight tingle to this. However, the daytime one, there is some major tingle to this. And so it doesn't plump my lips like I want them to plump, and it also doesn't irritate them enough to cause a flush, but I'm still reaching for this quite often, even though it doesn't do those things. And how I'm using this is that when I'm getting ready and I'm putting my makeup on, I will put this on, and then when I'm ready to put my lip product on, I wipe this off, and what I find it does do is it does hydrate them enough or irritate them enough that there is a slight plumpness to the lips. Now it's not like they show, however it does sort of smooth out my lines that are in my lips and helps my lip product look better when I put it on. And you know what else, this was incredibly inexpensive, like off Amazon these were, I think this was less than $15. Incredibly tingly. If you find sort of mildly tingly products, super tingly, like the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat. So lots of people find that incredibly tingly. I can't feel it at all. I can feel this. This is like you took a hot pepper, like a jalapeno, and wiped it on your lips. Like it's it's pepper hot, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it's incredibly tingly and irritating. And so I quite like that. But if you're sensitive to that, you would hate this. Okay, and then the last products I'm gonna talk about are the things that I got in my February BoxyCharm base box. I do count this in my purchases because I purchased the base box. Now, I didn't purchase these products for the value that they are because I pay, I think it's 27 or $28 right now for the base box. However, I do purchase the base box, so I thought, you know, I would include these in here. So it came with this Ali Oop 4-in-1 brush. I don't like this brush at all. <laughs> I wasn't excited to get it, and I'm not using it. This is like, maybe for travel this would be good, but I'm never gonna use that little sponge because I like to wash my sponge after every use, and to have this in my collection here at home where I'm not traveling, to be unscrewing and screwing back in, like no. So I was hoping, to be honest, that I wouldn't get this in my base box, but I did. I'm not excited to have it. No real value there for me with that product. This was the item that I picked. This is from Saturday Skin and it's the 
Yuzu Vitamin C Bright Eye Cream. Again, this was my choice item. If you watch my BoxyCharm video, you'll know that I wasn't really excited for this box at all. It was pretty much a dud for me. And I had said I wasn't really excited for this eye cream because it's an eye cream. I picked it because this was the choice item that I thought I would get the most use out of. It may look like I haven't used much of this, but I have used this every single morning since I got it and I love it. This feels like, almost like an oily balm in there. It's a, it's very, very light. You're not gonna be able to see anything, but it's this super light, just really nice cream and I'm really enjoying it and I do find it incredibly hydrating. So I put this on every morning. It hasn't irritated my eyes and I'm really enjoying using this, much more so than I thought. So for me, this one product, makes up for the value of the box. But yeah, thought I wasn't gonna be excited for it, but it turns out actually I'm getting a lot of use out of this, using it every day and really enjoying it. Another product out of my base box that surprised me was this one from Ace Beauté, and it's the eyeshadow amplifying, amplifying base, and I have it in light. And I have it on today, and I'm really enjoying it. So it kind of goes on very much like a concealer, but lighter than a concealer I would normally wear under my eyes. And I feel like it helps smooth out my lids. And so I am going in with this anytime I'm putting any sort of cream shadow or powder shadow. And again, I did put it on today. And I feel like, now I don't go in with super bright, vibrant colors, so I can't really speak to that. But what it does do is I have quite crinkly upper lids and it helps smooth it out and keep it smooth throughout the day. So this was a surprise. I was absolutely not at all excited to have this. Uh, the other thing I got for the only makeup product, truthfully, was this loose powder from OPV. Oh man, that's very reflective. And it's a translucent powder. I am using it. It's fine. It's a nice translucent powder. I have it on today. I'm using it. It sits out here on my desktop and I am enjoying it. But you know, it's a translucent setting powder. So it's really, I mean, there's nothing remarkable about it. It's light. It sits nice on my skin. Uh, I feel like it does blur, but I do have powders that blur better than this but it's nice. I am using it. You know, not much more to say about it. I will get some use out of it. I wasn't excited to get it because I have a ton of setting powders and I have dry skin, so I use so little powder, but I'm using it. I'm getting some use out of it. And then the last product to talk about that came in my box was this Clara's New York, and it is their stimulating targeted treatment. Uh, again, I'll link it down below, but it's their serum plus vitamin E, RT, retinol. I have used it, I have used it actually a couple times on my face and I will say this, I've had no irritation, which I am very, very sensitive to retinol creams. So any sort of retinol, Retin-A product, usually my skin reacts pretty harshly. And that I've had no reaction to this, I wonder how potent it is. And also it's incredibly thick, so right, it's right, down to about there, I've probably used it twice. It's an incredibly thick serum, and sometimes it doesn't want to pick up in the dropper. I feel like this would have been a better to, the dispensing method would have been better in maybe a squeezy tube or something like that. It's fine, like I can get it to come up. It's hydrating, it feels nice, but I'm just not sure if you're looking for a powerful retinol product or something that's gonna be super active on your skin. The fact that I haven't really reacted to this makes me wonder how potent it is. So that's my only concern with this. I am using it almost nightly on my chest because I tend to be able to use products there, but on my face I've only used it a couple of times. So hard to, hard to you know kind of speak on skincare when you've only used it a couple of times but that's just my observation I've used it a couple of times and I haven't seen any irritation and for me that's odd so there you go you guys there's everything I purchased in February if you are enjoying this series please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed if you would subscribe that would just be amazing I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone